Oh, poor cow. Forced to make cake for all of its days. Just continuously gets milked by a machine. Huh. Kind of modern. Anyways, this is Thrift here with the uh, My Town user manual. And we're going to start off with uh, slash town help. And for the sake of time, I'm going to just t explain these to you. So you can turn the map on and off, and I'll just do a town map real quick. And you can show this uh, circles or plots that you've claimed if they're green. If they're red, then that means someone else has claimed them. Uh, if they're a sign, they might change color and all that special jazzy stuff. Uh, I don't know too many details about this, but I know how it works. Uh, you can turn it on and off, and that means, here I'll press F9 twice. If I were to move into this chunk with slash town map on, you know, every time you move chunks, it updates you with a new map of where you are. And now I'll just turn that off, and slash town help. So info, it shows you all the info about a town, so I'll start off with, I'll skip down to the next one, slash town list. Town list. And I'll do slash town info volcana or whatever. And you can see town block zone, they have four out of six. And that's a permission, though most people don't see that, but that's the uh, chunks that they have owned. And I can only see that because I'm the founder of this server and therefore an admin. And that's the mayor, assistant, and resident. So let's say I do a bigger town. Town info values of thumb and I can see uh, first of all what nation they're in they're in no nation and oh wait no valleys of thumb is in valleys of the elements nation these guys are in no nation and you can see town blocks they have a lot more and of course all the ones they own the mayor assistants and the residents now let's go on to the next one slash town help and yeah, you can do slash town res and then enter a player name. So uh, say if I want to do someone like, let's do this mayor here, Belizely13. And you can see his location, uh, member from, so that's when he first joined, or at least when my town was installed. And last online, and that's not really valid because he's online right now member of which town and what rank he is who's on his friends list and who has him on their friends list and the friends list can become pretty important I'll show you that when I'm doing more of the permissions and so let's look at the next one uh, yeah friend you can add and remove with slash town friend so slash town friend and then if you press tab it'll tell you you can add or remove press tab again it changes to remove just keep pressing tab keep it down whatever you want to do. Anyways, uh, your friends list becomes a little bit more important in permissions like I said. So now let's do, we can see there's town leave, town online, show you the online players, and now the town perm. So if we just type in town perm it shows you you can do the plot, the resident, or the entire town. And shows that's your forces permission. So we're going to start off with a single plot. So if we do slash town perm plot, and some servers you can just do slash t, but uh, servers that have bucket forge and use essentials from bucket, because I think it's a little bit more stable than the forge essentials, you can uh, put in, well you can't do slash t for town because it's being overridden with messaging. So you can do slash town to just do your commands. So Let's do slash town perm again, slash town perm, and what do we want to look at? We want to look at the in only this one plot that I'm standing in. So it shows you this plot has all of this stuff, you know, it's all inherited, so probably inherited from the town permissions. The town permissions are inherited from the global permissions, and etc. So now we'll look at town plot, or town perm for the entire town. And we can see all of this stuff and if it's red that just means it's been changed from the inherited value so if you want to see what values you can put let's say town perm town and then this is the little node that it is so if I want to see town member rights I can do town perm town and then I wanted to set the permission so it's set and then 
I type in the node here so I want to do that first one town and then I press space then I press tab and you can see there's none enter loot access and build and that inherits from one another like uh, if you can build you can do all of this stuff if you can access you can enter and loot if you can loot you can also enter and obviously you can't do anything if you have none so if there's none set right there like I have it set there then no one will be able to walk into the plots that are claimed by you so that's great for getting annoying people away if you don't want to speak to them or whatever if you're a loner I don't know anyways then you can set that for outsiders and uh, so if you have your own plot assigned to you you can set the uh, plot permission so that town members cannot enter it so that's one other thing you can do there's a whole bunch of functionality with this let's go down to the next one let's look at nation the nation can do the same Ooh, it had some problems there and I had to cut out a little bit but town perm town set nation so that's the next one up here and as you can see they can do the same things none enter loot access and build so let's look at the next one which would be out for outs well I'm not going to show you because outsiders have the same set of permissions that you can set and friend rights this is where it gets interesting you can set friend rights so uh, they're only active if you own the plot if the plot is assigned to you and you change the plot permission for the friend right or the uh, town permission for the friend right is the way you want it or the friend permission not the friend right and then friends can build in plots that are assigned to you if they're on your friends list so as you can see town help it's just slash town friend add and then the person's name and now let's go over here back to the permissions and you can change all of this allow cart interaction and when it's true or false that means it's a boolean which means it's a programming term it just means it can only be either true or false so uh, let's look at this one this is one that people have problems with sometimes disable mobs so mobs off that permission node would be town perm and then if you want to set it for the entire town or only a certain plot and then you do uh, set and then you want to set the mobs off because that's the node that you're setting mobs off and then you would set that to false if you wanted the mobs to spawn and true if you wanted the mobs to not spawn so here I'll set this to false and you can see now mobs off is false I'll set it to oh here I'll spawn something in I guess egg Oh, I guess creeper and before that I'm going to disable creep oh uh, yeah creeper off is true so he's just gonna be there and try to explode but because my creeper off is true he's not going to explode so now if I do mobs off true it'll just get rid of him any minute now yeah there he goes and so yeah that's how to set the true and false permissions so allow everyone to kill mobs true uh, these are a little bit self-explanatory uh, these ones uh, height check enabled oh so I I have this set but I never actually set it to check for that so here set Y on true so now you can see the Y on is set to true and I have the height check from 17 to 255 so by default you claim from bedrock to as far high up as you can build but you can change it so that other people like outsiders or whatever they can do whatever they want you know if they're completely underground far away from your town or if you want you can allow people to do stuff way up in the sky which I don't entirely recommend but you can do that if you wanted to and I just let people dig for diamond under the town if they want to because there's a lot of plots owned by spawn Kano. and uh, town help and as you can see here the uh, different help nation help mayor help assistant so if I do slash town help assistant I can see he can claim unclaim invite kick 
set spawn and assign plot. And that's an important one, set spawn slash town set spawn, because when you first claim a town, by default, a spawn is not set. Like, you have to set your spawn. If you try to do a town spawn like this, oh, there we go, a town spawn, then uh, if you do not set a town spawn, it would just say that you have not set a town spawn. So uh, you will be out of luck unless you do that. And I think that's everything. Town help mayor. Of course, you can delete the town. And this is one example I want to show you. Slash town delete, and it says slash you use slash t delete. Okay, so slash t delete. Okay, it won't do anything because slash t is overridden. So you'd have to use slash town delete. Okay. That's just if you want to delete your town. I don't. So I'm just going to ignore that for now. And uh, I think that's everything. But I'm sure I missed something. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I hope this helped. And I hope to see you on the server. Have a good day or night.